Former President Donald Trump has lashed out after the Department of Justice hit him with even more charges related to the Mar-a-Lago documents. Uh, now, uh, people, of course, are expecting a new indictment on Thursday, uh, but instead prosecutors actually revealed new allegations to their already existing charges against the former president. So now, those charges include three additional felonies, willful retention of uh, documents and obstruction of justice, according to a superseding indictment filed in the United States District Court for the Southern District of Florida. The new charges uh, center on surveillance video from Trump's Mar-a-Lago Club in Florida, where sensitive documents were kept, alleging Trump, Walt Nuada, Trump's valet, and Carlos de Oliveira, property manager at Mar-a-Lago, attempted to delete security camera footage at the Mar-a-Lago Club to prevent the footage from being provided to a federal grand jury. Oops. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, do, 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 oh, gets mad at deleting emails. But apparently, allegedly, he wanted to delete security camera footage instead of turn it over to investigators. Of course, uh, the hypocrisy is uh, actually not stunning. But now the special counsel also filed a new charge related to a previously reported audio of Trump discussing sensitive military, uh, military documents uh, during an interview. This is, of course, the uh, document uh, that was allegedly attack plans on Iran, um, saying, oh, yeah, no, I've got this document. It's it's right here. I could have I could have declassified it, but I didn't. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> uh, now, that said, the Trump campaign immediately on Thursday, issued a pretty unhinged statement, a uh, pretty furious statement. This is nothing more than a continued desperate and flailing attempt by the Biden crime family and their Department of Justice to harass President Trump and those around him. Deranged Jack Smith knows that they have no case and is casting about for any way to salvage their illegal witch hunt and to get someone other than Donald Trump to run against crooked Joe Biden. Uh, yes. Then, former president took to uh, his social media platform, Truth, Truth Central, and had an even more unhinged take. Whatever happened to the crooked Joe Biden's documents case? He had 20 times more boxes than I did. No, he didn't. He literally just made that up. And he wasn't covered by the presidential record tax. I was. Again, this case isn't a isn't even a, at all about the Presidential Records Act. It's about the Espionage Act. He's being charged with the Espionage Act. He also said when it first came out that Biden had all these docs, many classified, almost everyone, including those on the left, said, there goes the case against Trump. Yeah, nobody on the actual left has uh, really said that. <laughs> they waited and waited. God failed prosecutor deranged Jack Smith and struck but did almost nothing in the really bad Biden documents case. Many stored in Chinatown. Look, aside from the obvious lies and absurdities, uh, what happened with Biden is pretty simple. Uh, he gave them back. He gave back the documents. They said, hey, uh, Joe, it, we think you got some documents. Oh, oh, well, oh I'm sorry. Here you go. Uh, you can have these back. I didn't mean to have those. A and then it would have been solved. That's all Trump literally had to do. All he had to do. But uh, again, it's very obvious that Trump didn't want to give everything back because he went to great lengths to keep these things. He wanted to keep these government documents that included secret war plans, okay, so that he could, I don't, I don't know, brag about having them or uh, maybe even sell them. Um, I mean, look, I don't have any evidence of him wanting to sell these things, but why else go to such lengths as, you know, hiding the documents all over your home, mixing it with your own personal stuff, ordering your henchmen to, you know, shuffle them around, move them around, and then delete the footage, uh, you know, of them moving them around while telling, uh, telling everyone, including your own lawyers, to lie about it. I can't think of any other, other reason than for some sort of personal gain. Now, there's uh, even more damning details spelled out about that uh, in the indictment, in the new indictment. Uh, in fact, uh, there's conversations between Trump and Nuada 
uh, for example, on June 2nd, Trump called him for 24 seconds. The day one of Trump's lawyers was scheduled to review documents in the storage room. Later that day, Nuada and De Oliveira moved about 30 boxes from Trump's residence back to the storage room. On June 3rd, Nuada and De, De Oliveira loaded several boxes onto a plane, uh, you know, the, that uh, Trump uh, had flown um, or was going to fly to Bedminster with his family for the summer. Uh, on June 23rd, Trump called De Oliveira for 24 minutes. The next day, the Justice Department emailed Trump's company a final subpoena for any surveillance records from Mar-a-Lago for the previous six months. Nuetta changed travel plans after that. Rather than accompany Trump on a trip to Illinois, he went to Mar-a-Lago. On June 24th, Nuada texted and called De, De Oliveira. The next day, Nuada and De Oliveira went to the security guard booth where surveillance video displayed and walked with flashlights through a tunnel to the storage room while pointing out the surveillance cameras on june 27th three days after that deliviera met with an unnamed staffer in the it department said uh to keep the conversation between them hey it's just us you know uh us trump guys you know what i'm saying uh me and you uh this conversation's not gonna get out okay and asked how many days the server retained video the staffer responded 45 days de oliviera told the staffer that the boss wanted the server deleted the staffer said i do not have the rights to do that and it also uh would be against the law the indictment also described nuada and de oliviera meeting later that day walking through the bushes on the northern side of the property to an adjacent property returning to the IT office, and then walking through the bushes again. Why were they walking through the bushes? Look, not to get conspiratorial, but that looks a little shady, doesn't it? Seems a little shady. I mean, all of this seems a little shady when you look at all the context here. <laughs> and no wonder, of course, Donald Trump wanted the video deleted because an FBI interview January 13, 2023, Dean Oliveira denied helping to unload or move boxes for Trump. He said, quote, never saw nothing. Well, there's clearly video of uh, him doing so. Helping and moving boxes for Donald Trump on Donald Trump's orders. And then, of course, trying to delete the video. <laughs> You're on tape. And by the way, that's why the tapes had to go. And somehow, by the way, and this is not involved in the indictment, but in October, that very same server room ended up getting flooded mysteriously. Hmm. Look, uh, that seems like a pretty interesting coincidence, and perhaps it is, but perhaps not. Again, the boss wanted uh, the server deleted for a reason. And these, uh, you know, these new allegations, well, show us why.